When the International Human Genome Project completed the first reference map of the human DNA, it was a great start, but it wasn't enough. Pretty soon, we had to go back and collect all the genetic variation in the human population with projects like the SNP Consortium and the Haplotype Map Consortium, the Thousand Genomes Consortium, and eventually it gave us both the base reference and all the variation between people, at least all of the most common variation. Well, the same thing has been true with regard to gene expression. Right after we completed the Human Genome Project, the scientific community got together and began to generate tissue compendia of the RNA expression in different tissues of the body under different circumstances. It was a great reference, but again, it was just a start because it was you know, from one person and not even the same person. It was cobbled together from many different cell lines, many different tissues, and it didn't reflect the variation. That's where GTEx has come along. GTEx has been an incredibly important project because it's let us see the variation in gene expression across people. By collecting nearly a thousand people and nearly 50 tissue samples from those thousands of people, it's been possible to really look at the amazing variation in gene expression between individuals. And that provides enormous insight. So the GTEx project is now an incredibly strong foundation on which to build our understanding of the amount of genetic variation between people and how it relates to disease. It's a tremendous achievement. Tissue samples for the GTEx project. Store them. 81 sample cryo boxes like this. One of the things GTEx allowed us to do was to really look at how genes are expressed differently across the body, across different tissues, but more importantly to tie that into individual genetic variation because we were able to look across lots of individuals at the same time. What GTEx is trying to do for the first time is a systematic catalogue of the impact of those genetic differences to basically understand what tissues they act in, what genes they are affecting, and how they're leading to ultimately differences in disease predisposition. My lab works on improving the diagnosis of families affected by very rare and severe muscle diseases, uh, things like muscular dystrophy for instance. What these families need is for us to be able to take the DNA sequence from their children, from other family members, and make sense of all that data. By using GTEx as this large reference database that tells us what normal expression looks like, we can identify changes in the patient muscle that we think are likely to actually underlie their disease. What GTEx set out to do is understand how these genetic differences that we have inherited from mom and from dad, who have themselves inherited them from grandma and grandpa generations and generations and generations back, how those differences are acting today across the entire human population. I study the genetic basis of heart attack and blood cholesterol levels. Over the last 10 years, we found hundreds of different spots in the human DNA sequence that contribute to cholesterol levels and heart attack risk. GTEx has been invaluable in allowing us to figure out what the right genes are that are being pointed to by the gene variants, as well as figure out what the right tissue types are. GTEx is only possible through the um, incredible and generous donations of the donor families and at the beginning, people weren't sure GTEx would be possible if we could, in fact, sample um, this many individuals and this many tissues. Uh, and we showed it was possible, and it's created an amazing resource. I'm the lead software engineer for the GTEx portal, and the GTEx portal is a resource that we make available uh, on the web to uh, anyone who wants to use it. And the goal is to make it a place where researchers can access our data, search it, uh, and visualize it. So our goal is to enable their research by making our data easier to access. This amazing public resource has been invaluable in helping us hunt down the genes that cause high cholesterol levels and heart attack risk. 
we've been able to ask fundamental questions about genetic variation. We've been able to address questions in disease biology, including both common diseases and rare diseases. And we're having an impact in the pharmaceutical industry in terms of drug design and validation and target choice and selection. The hope is that by understanding where those genes are expressed and what kind of function they have uh, in different tissues will ultimately inform us uh, finding different ways of treating those devastating diseases. GTEx is a fantastic resource to enable us to provide much better understanding of those genes and then to, to be able to find novel therapeutic handles uh, that previously just not uh, available to us. We are now moving to look at additional tissues from the GTEx collection from different uh, organs in the body. Um, and we're hoping that in the future this could serve as a really good tissue acquisition uh, platform and uh, open resource uh, for the Human Cell Atlas. We're really hoping that people will continue to use this resource to add on to it because it's really tremendously valuable. We have so much data on these tissues and these donors at this point and there's a lot that can be done going forward. It's clear from what GTEx has accomplished, from what it's shown us about how we can get tissue samples from many different individuals that we can even go further. With the advent of single cell RNA sequencing, it's clear that the next step is going to be to deepen this catalog even further so we ultimately understand all of the genetic variation in all of the cells of the human body.